The Witchetty Grub and the Grubbity Witch Written by Daniel Williamson Winding away from the bright city lights on a hill up high in the clouds, a spooky old castle glows in the night where a lonely witch hides from crowds. She reads the spell from her witchetty books as she pours her witchetty potions, stirring her cauldron with a witchetty look, going through her witchetty motions. They don't like me and I don't like them, she sighs as the cauldron bubbles. The spell will make it snow again and bring them awful troubles. That's not a good choice, said a posh little voice from behind the big wooden door. Your spell won't last long. You're doing it wrong, said the tiny strange creature on the floor. Yuck! What are you? said the witch, bending down. You look like the slime from my tub. Slimy, not me. I'm clean as can be, a fidgety, witchety grub. A witchety grub? There's no such bug. And what makes you think you're so clean? You crawl around on the dirty rug where all the animals have been. But look at my face, no mud, muck or moss. Not one bit like yours. When was the last time you had a good wash and cleaned all your spots and sores? The witch grabs a mirror and shrieks at the shock. Ah, what happened? You're right. You're showing the signs of working too hard, making spells deep into the night. But my hands are so crooked and my arms are all bent. I can't even wash my face. Don't worry, said the grub. My hands are nimble. I'll help if I can stay at your place. It's a deal, said the witch. But watch out for the cat. If you're too slow, he'll catch you and eat you. Fair enough, said the grub. I won't forget that. Now pick me up so I can reach you. The witchetty grub crawled over her face with hot soap and water in a bucket. Each time he found a scraggly hair, he'd pull it until he could pluck it. He rubbed and scrubbed right around the clock, rolling back the years. He covered up the witch's spots and scooped the wax from her ears. Ugh! Oh dear, oh dear, said the witchetty grub. Your brows are too bushy and long. I'll simply have to trim them down. Good job I brought scissors along. Even the warts on the witch's face, he'd jump on until they went flat. But he bounced off the witch's crookety nose and knocked off her witchetty hat. Oh dear, oh dear said the witchetty grub. Your hair's all greasy and smells. We'll have to pop you in the tub and give it a wash as well. The witch laid back in her witchetty bath, her head all covered in suds. The grub picked out all the sticks and grass and washed away the mud. Oh dear, oh dear, said the witchetty grub. Your shoulders are lumpy and hard. I simply must give them a witchetty rub. No wonder you're bent in the arms. He rubbed her shoulders with all of his hands and bounced on her witchetty lumps. It took a while, you understand. Nearly 99 grubbity jumps. In front of the mirror, he dried her hair for more than just a while. 
The witch was so happy that someone cared, but just when she started to smile. Oh dear, oh dear, said the witchetty grub. Your teeth are all green and rotten. Twice a day they need a scrub, but clearly you've forgotten. The grub climbed into the witch's mouth with a toothpick and long minty brush. He found bits of food and picked them out, even bits of old bread and the crust. He scrubbed every tooth a hundred times and polished them up so shiny. It's a darn good job, I think you'll find, that witchetty grubs are so tiny. They walked across to the dressing room to find the witch some clothes. Oh dear, oh dear, it can't be true. You've got holes in all of those. The witchetty grub took a needle and thread while the witch relaxed by the fire. Don't worry, I'll sew them all up, he said. Though I'm starting to feel quite tired. The witchetty grub then started to yawn, which made the witch yawn too, her eyelids falling to the floor. I do hope it's bedtime soon. All done, said the grub. Now look in the mirror and tell me what you see. I see the colour of my cheeks again. I feel like a whole new me. So no more nights around the cauldron, casting spells upon the city. My time I'll now spend with my new little friend that can make an old witch look so pretty. The End